Welcome back to the studio, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally here to talk about those speakers that I've been teasing you with in the last couple of videos. Now, I wanted to make sure, and it took so long because I wanted to make sure that I really used those speakers and I replaced them where I was using my old speakers and I had them put into my system and I've been using them whenever I game, I've been using them whenever I'm working on videos and I wanted to get a good, thorough and honest review out for you guys. So what I have for you today, we're gonna go through and we're gonna look at how I have them set up for my personal um, station over here and then we're also gonna look into like a window shopper kind of view so that way I can get you guys a good look at the back of them because it's kind of hard to move them with the way that they're wired in and then after that, we're gonna do a little sound test compared to my old speakers. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I actually just remembered that I had some old pre-recorded unboxing footage of these speakers for you guys and I thought, huh, why not show the people the unboxing video? So I'm showing you guys the unboxing. As you can see, it's a very simple, fairly uh, easy to understand setup with these speakers. When you unbox them, you have the information right on the front on how to connect them. You have your subwoofer on the left-hand side, which is wired to the control knob. Those stay wired together at all times. And then you also have your left and right speakers that uh, go on top of your desk or wherever you wanna set them up. Those are on the right side. And then the box does come with one auxiliary cord. And you use that auxiliary cord to connect to your device of choice. And you connect that down to the main subwoofer so if you want to use anything else with these speakers you will have to provide another auxiliary cable and while I'm just on that subject I wanted to mention as well that these speakers are wired only they are not wireless they are not Bluetooth so if you want to use them at all with anything else or with any device you will have to have an auxiliary cable present now that was already something that I knew going into buying these speakers so it doesn't really bother me that these aren't Bluetooth but if that is something that you're looking for then these are not the speakers for you otherwise let's go ahead head into my desktop view and we're going to change up the camera angle and we're going to check out how I have these things set up for my own personal use. All right, everybody. So this is the desktop view of my speakers. I have my little speakers left and right. And then you have your control knob right here on the left side of my desk. And then when you go to turn it on, you just turn it clockwise. You get that nice little click in the beginning and it's very smooth on this knob when it goes to controlling the volume. And then you have a headphone port on the side and an auxiliary jack on the uh, back side of that. And then that's for plugging in if you'd like, if you wanna plug in your phone or if you wanna plug in another uh, speaker or something else. Why would you wanna plug in another speaker? I don't know. But the microphone jack, let me talk about that for a second. I didn't realize that the microphone would also work along with the headphone portion of that jack. I was going to game the other night and I wanted to plug my headset into something, but it was just some random uh, regular headphones that you would get with your cell phone whenever you go to buy a new cell phone. It has the inline mic on it, and I just needed something real quick so I can talk in the game. And then I didn't want to plug it into my monitor over here and have it dangle over top of my keyboard. Didn't want to go all the way over here to plug it into my PC and go all the way on top of there and having it dangling from off of my shoulder. So I was like, hmm. Let me try out this jack and lo and behold, you sure can use this jack and it's probably not the best thing because when you think about it, it's going through the speaker, going through another auxiliary uh, jack and then going into the monitor. So it's probably not the best thing, but it does absolutely work. You can plug in headphones, use the microphone and the headphone at the same time with this port. So that was a really good feature. Now. On the left-hand side of it, you have a bass rocker, and that's how you control how deep your bass is. And then last but not least, we have the subwoofer on the bottom, and then the subwoofer sound actually comes out of this front panel here, but I just have it tucked into the corner because it really doesn't matter in this small room that I have, and I promise you, these speakers are loud. It is not inhibited by being in that corner in the slightest. So besides that, that's all that there is to it, pretty much. It's a very simple setup. Really like how nice and modular and clean they look. They look very modern. So we're gonna go ahead and go over to the window shopper view and we're gonna check out those higher definition shots so you can see the ports on the back of the subwoofer and we're gonna actually check out the price. So let's change up the camera angle right now. 
Okay guys, so here we are back on the window shop review and that way we can see the actual price of these things and what we're gonna see is also the higher definition images that I wanted to show you of the ports on the back for the subwoofer. So up front, this thing's gonna run you about $99. That's what I paid for it. And uh, that's actually not really a bad price for what you're getting with these speakers because these speakers are very, very good. I cannot stress this enough that how well these sound in here. And you know, you're gonna pay a hundred bucks for most sound bars and um, it's basically the same idea you have your separate subwoofer system and then you have an actual speaker that sits in front of you while you let the subwoofer uh, handle the ambience around you and handle the bass and it really creates that three-dimensional sound that you get whenever you're watching something so if you look on here this is what I was talking about with the ports. So you have RCA ports as well as the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary port that I'm using right now for my monitor. So you can connect this to just about anything. It doesn't come with an RCA cable, but you can buy one and just attach it to these speakers in case you did have like a console or something that needed to have that connection for it. So you also have your left and right inputs at the bottom and that's pretty much it. You have the power cable and then you have that thicker cable right there. That's the one that connects to the, or sorry, not the thicker cable the thinner cable no yeah the thicker cable the thicker cable connects to the power uh, control module that you have on top of the desk and I cannot emphasize enough where is the here it is so this nodule right here this is what I was talking about with the rocker with the base on the side but this nodule is so I can't even explain it it just feels so nice to turn the knob on it's just very smooth and it's seamless almost whenever you turn it on you get that initial click it's just like ugh, it's good it's really good so I just wanted to show you guys that we're gonna bring it on over to the sound test now and we're gonna go from there make up our closing statements see you guys in the next shot Okay, so little issue that we ran into with the sound test. I forgot that the main reason that I also bought these new speakers was because my old speaker does not have a good, uh, like I believe something went wrong with the auxiliary input. And just after years and years of having it, I've had this thing for probably like five years, got, it's just completely shot. And it works very well on Bluetooth, but I can't really give you guys a very accurate test between the two if I'm doing an auxiliary input, which is obviously better, off of one speaker and then just a Bluetooth input off of the other one. So I just wanted to show you guys that this is what I was using before. This is the nine, like N-Y-N-E, you see it on the side base sport i believe it was like 80 bucks or so whenever i went to go get it and it is a portable bluetooth speaker you can answer calls with it you can um pretty much just carry it wherever you want it has really good uh, sound quality so i've used it for a very long time um i used to just have it underneath the desk down here where the new subwoofer was and my issue with that also was that you have no remote with it you have to keep going down here to press the button to adjust the sounds whenever you want to turn it up and turn it down and that was just getting really annoying so what I have for you instead is we're just gonna test the sound of the new Logitech speakers and, uh, with my Razer Siren X mic. And I'm going to play the sound from off of Epidemic Sound and I'm gonna show you guys how it sounds whenever you turn up the bass and whenever you turn up the knobs. And hopefully we're gonna pray that it doesn't destroy my speaker or your ears. So let's go ahead and get into that test. I'm gonna start it up right here, get the mic going. And then we're gonna also get this playing over here. So this is pretty much your normal volume. See how loud that got? Like I can't even turn the bass all the way up because I'm afraid I want to disturb my neighbors. Like this thing is loud, loud. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the camera angle back again and we'll wrap the video up. Okay, closing statements on these speakers. So these are very, very great speakers for the price. I would probably get them out of a five star ratio. I probably get them like a four and a half just because they're missing that Bluetooth speaker um, availability. 
and that would probably be the only thing that would set them over the limit but besides that they're super loud they're really great for the desktop experience if you want to have something for your personal gaming space or if you want to have something for your uh, personal bedroom area or even if you want to plug these into a TV I really wouldn't do it for a TV though just because you have the knob that controls the sound so unless you have something like set up next to your bed and then you just stretch these lines all the way for the uh, actual smaller speakers and you have them like up on the wall or something like that i can see that working but otherwise these are really just perfect for the desk setup so i would get these for somebody that you know that you want to give them something for their gaming setup or if you want to get them something for christmas a holiday birthday great gifts 99 bucks you get a great sounding speaker and that's pretty much it on these guys i mean these are pretty much my daily drivers now like i said my other speaker kind of just took a poop on me so that's all that i'm left with are these couple of speakers so i uh really enjoy these if you guys really like this video please let me know down in the comments below. Give it a like, give me a subscribe because I'm making content like this on a weekly basis at this point and I'm trying to keep up with that. So next videos are gonna be coming out next week. I'll see you guys in those. And as always, my name is Cryptic. I appreciate you guys every day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.